Hey group, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Thursday, April 14th, 2011. Here's what we got going on the website today. But to check out the entire articles, please go to www.phonescholar.com. Follow me on Twitter at PhoneScholar and on Facebook at PhoneScholar. And today is video day. Got a bunch of videos for you, so hopefully this won't be too long. But uh, the first video I have is T-Mobile Sidekick. 4G unboxing and Aaron over at Phone Dog put out a terrific vi video on the new Sidekick. Looks like it's going to be real popular with the people who had Sidekicks before or that generation. Looks like a terrific phone, only a hundred bucks with a two-year contract. Uh, what Aaron did, he did the unboxing, but he also did played around with the phone quite a bit and he showed all the widgets, the, the widgets, the apps, the scrolling, it's it, and how it scrolls. From one to the other, uh, he also showed the scrolling with the new trackball. There's a trackball on it, kind of like the old uh, BlackBerry trackball. Plus, it has the the buttons in the corner. It has um, the home button, the jump button, which I'll talk about in a second, the back button, and uh, the other button. So, uh, buttons on the bottom for the power. So, for those of you who can't find it, the power's on the bottom. But check out the video; really great. He also shows um, that the fact it's a if you use your thumb to flip it up and pop open as opposed to or excuse me pop open as opposed to the flip up that it used to be if you remember it used to be sideways supposedly danger who made the phone before has a patent for that and samsung made this phone so they didn't want to do that um he shows the social media part of it which is the whole thing to it the twitter it actually has a customized froyo 2.2 android 2.2 on there which is customized for social media and Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. So it's a terrific article. I'm not going to go over the specs of the phones. I've already done that. But it's also on the, uh, if you look underneath the video, the specs are on there. Um, thanks, Aaron. It's 99 bucks, like I said. T-Mobile available on the 20th. Pre-order starting tomorrow. So uh, if you were a uh, sidekick person, I think you really like this. Enjoy. Thanks again, Aaron, for the great video. Next, Sprint Kyocero Echo unboxing. And this is Noah over at Techno Buffalo. Like I said, I'm sorry, I still can't get my hands on the phone, so I do have to borrow, but I uh, at least want to get you what's out there. Now, this video is a little bit clumsy. No offense to Noah. Uh, he didn't play with the phone at all before he got it, so I'm sure there's going to be a review video. He's even said he's going to take a few days to play with it, and I'm sure there's going to be a review video coming out more in depth on the phone. Um, but it is an interesting phone. This is the dual screen phone, and he does show how it works in the dual screen tablet mode. He does show it how it works in the two different uh, independent modes. Uh, so that's something that you want to check out. Um, how he shows, he really goes into how the hinge lacks snap, lock snaps. And in the video, to be honest with you, it doesn't look, it looks flimsy, but he says it's not. And he says it locks rack right back in. So it's a very thick phone. Uh, he shows how there's the back. Uh, widgets and home buttons on both sides of the phones and you'll see what I mean by that um, and then he also shows how the one drawback that it seems is that there where where the two click in there's a big bezel for the full screen mode and it's something you may have to get used to so if there's something that you're interested in this is a good first video again I'm sure he's gonna go into a huge review video it's available on the 17th for 200 bucks from Sprint with the uh, contract and the data plan so check out the video if this is something you're interested in thanks Noah next smartphone pictures post uh, sorry privacy risks and this is a very very interesting video from NBCaction.com uh, about how by using uh, by if you're posting pictures of you your kids stuff like that on Facebook Twitter uh, Craigslist photo bucket stuff like that with an online simple add-on online browser and they didn't say which one and I did try to recreate this strictly through Facebook with the people who I know have their kids photos on that and I couldn't do it um, so in the article luckily they don't give the thing to it but it's out there literally what they did is in the video they gave one of these NBC ladies a phone that she took pictures of her of her kid and then with this software he was able to find out things like she was he was able to find out her house bedroom school park what part of the park she plays in daycare her favorite restaurants and this is all from the posted pictures on these uh, things and the video shows all this and it uses geotagging which is for those of you who don't know geotagging tells you where your picture was and it's supposed to be a good thing so you can go back take a look and say I'm not sure where this is you can look up and say this is exactly where it was well it also leaves a trail that these people can follow and there's a um, there's a site called iStalkYou.com and I have links to it that shows you how to shut this off 
So very, very important. If you are a, um, a parent that's posting pictures of your kids online, you really need to do this. You need to turn off the GPS settings before taking pictures you plan to post, and you need to make sure that all your, all your online photo servers are made to private. It's in the article, it's in the video, and I did put links, so go ahead and check that out. Next, Apple releases iOS updates to take care of the iPad 2 connection problems. Uh, recently I put a video from John at Techno Buffalo showing that the iPad 2 had real bad problems correcting to the Verizon uh, 3G network and on this he also has a video now that shows how quickly it does it so the update has taken care of that it is available now there's a link to the iTunes there's a link to the um, update center for the Apple products or you can just go into your product go to iTunes and go to the um, upgrade and display buttons and it should you could you should get a message as to do that it also takes care of supposedly the FaceTime freezing or blanking out on the uh, iOS uh, on the Apple iPhone 4 uh, the 4.3.2 is for the iPad iPad 2 third and fourth generation iPad touch and the AT&T iPhone 4 and 3GS the 4.2.7 is for the Verizon iPhone 4 and absolutely there's a jailbreak for the 4.3.2 I put a link to it so if you want to go ahead and jailbreak that you can do that also and lastly, yesterday I announced T-Mobile's new unlimited plans. There was one for $79.99, one for $59.99. Well, T-Mobile turned around and canceled the $59.99 one without the contract. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I couldn't find it on the site yesterday when I looked for it. But they have canceled that, but the $79.99 uh, started today. So if you're a T-Mobile customer, because the $79.99 before that they had was unlimited data with 200 minutes. Or no, it's unlimited voice with 200 megabytes, one or the other. Sorry, I, I'm not 100% sure. But this is unlimited everything. Of course, if you go over, go, do, go do over 2 gigs of data, they will throttle you. So you have to check out for that. That's all I got for today. I hope you have a tremendous day for the rest of the day. I will talk to you tomorrow.